The impact that it's going to have in this community will be massive. Congressman John Rutherford sat down with Liz Ryan to talk about a project he's happy to support. The Head Start program. They have 15 different locations throughout the county. They're looking to go to 16. They're going to build one in Hastings. You know, to qualify for this, the children between the ages of three and five have to be living in a household that's below federal poverty level, which is 14000 a year. So for them to travel all the way into St. Augustine, it's just not possible. Rutherford is on the Appropriations Committee, and he's trying to get the funding as soon as possible. You know, I'm going to try to push this because I don't want to wait another year to help these kids. School board member Beverly Slough is very excited about this. Hastings High School was built in 1924, and we're repurposing that building to include adult education, but also some opportunity for child care there. Part of that will be a Head Start program that will begin to prepare three- and four-year-olds for successful academic careers in our public schools. So this was a perfect opportunity to repurpose that building for the benefit of the residents in Hastings, and we're happy. She says that families in Hastings with young children really need this. In Hastings, there's only one licensed facility for child care, and um, the people in Hastings are, are a little bit transportation challenged, so they aren't able to take their kids elsewhere for child care. We'll keep you up to date as to when this project is expected to begin. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. This is my first year, so I'm excited to be a participant in the uh, delegation meeting to kind of give a state of St. John's County, as, as I'm going to call it. The St. John's County Chamber of Commerce is hosting its legislative update next month, and St. Augustine Beach's mayor will be one of the guest speakers. Mayor Dylan Romrell will highlight what's going on in St. Augustine Beach. You know, we have a lot of things happening, as always, at the beach, uh, through spring break and and a project that we just completed at A Street, a really cool parking lot that uh, just got paved. And so we have some things that I can update to let them know what's going on in St. Augustine Beach. Four outgoing state legislators will report on their work during the latest legislative session. It'll be interesting to see the recap of where we were and the good things that came down from Tallahassee. I think they brought in a record amount of money as our delegation over the last several years and has ever been received in St. John's County. The event is Friday, May 17th. I think it's imperative that people buy tickets right now today because this this is such a hot event because everybody wants to know what's going on uh, in St. John's County. So get your tickets, make sure that you uh, participate, come in, listen to what the leadership of St. John's County has to update uh, all the great things that are starting to take place in St. John's County. To purchase your tickets, go to sjcchamber.com. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Daryl Moody. Have some fun, lift a pint, and help someone with Parkinson's live their best life. Melanie Lomaglio, president and founder of the Rebloom Center, getting excited about an upcoming event to benefit the local St. Augustine Parkinson's community. This is Parkinson's Awareness Month, and the Rebloom Center is hosting the second annual Pints for Parkinson's event at Dog Rose Brewing Company so you can lift a pint and lift a life. Parkinson's can cause a host of both motor and non-motor symptoms. The most obvious symptoms that people are familiar with is the tremor. Some of the non-motor symptoms that people struggle with are things like depression and anxiety. And those symptoms can sometimes be even more disabling than the motor symptoms that we are most familiar with. In addition to enjoying beer, guests will enjoy live music, a raffle, showcasing local businesses and on-site food trucks. Entry to the event is free and Dog Rose is donating a portion of the pint's proceeds to Rebloom, committed to fighting the debilitating effects of Parkinson's disease. We want to remove the stigma that's centered around Parkinson's disease and really help people live their best life. And we do that through education. So the more you know, the more you can advocate for yourself. And we do it through exercise in functional movement training so that people can always get up out of a chair. We try to provide all of this at no cost to the participants so that there's no financial barriers. Pints for Parkinson's is Thursday, April 25th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at Dog Rose. To RSVP, go to rebloomcenter.org. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson.
And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's local morning news. I'm Rich Carroll.